Hello everybody, it's Ryan here from Trailflow and today we're going to talk about bike racks. Wait, full disclosure, sponsored content. Sponsored content. Yes, uh, I've actually been an ambassador for uh, Kuat this year. Well, last year actually, in 2020. And I'd like to thank them for, for all the support they've given us here at Trailflow. And so yeah, today we're going to talk about the NV 2.0 rack, which I picked up from them last winter. and. Uh, Talk, do a little bit of some of the features of it and what I like. What we have here is the Kuat NV 2.0, so the second generation of this rack. So one thing um, right off the bat that they changed on this rack versus the old one is the lever for flipping the rack down. You can actuate it easily by hand or you can also coordinate it, grab a foot and swing that down. I really like this. Uh, the old style rack had a bit more of a uh, hand lever that uh, while functional, this is way easier, so two thumbs up on that. So this rack that I have is the two bike model. They do also make a uh, version with an extension that you can put on the front to bump it up to four bikes. You do need to have the bigger style racks, so sorry little hatchy, you can't do that. Womp, womp, womp. That's okay. So let's see how this looks with the bike on it. Okay. I'll start with my handy dandy Enduro. It's pretty straightforward to put on. I usually like to start by undoing the wheel strap. I like to sort of swing my tire through, drop it on, so that gets the back on easily. Hold the bike one hand, hook this up. The ratchet arms are pretty straightforward. You can give it a little push and clamp it down. And it comes to the back. Ready to go, simple as that. Now, uh, if you have multiple bikes on here and you find you have some handlebar interference on your other bike, these trays are adjustable up and down to help give a little extra clearance. Bonus, I got bike as well. They have an included Allen key right inside the rack. So if you need to make some adjustments on the fly, it's right there, ready to go. How cool is that? As you can tell, it easily fits your free ride bike, but what else can it fit? Hmm, let's find out. Fits your hardtail trail bike. Also fits your fat bike. If you got really big tires, you can pick up their additional fat bike kit, which has strap extenders. These guys just slide on like so into the standard ratchet. Ah, that lined up a little better. That was really sloppy, but that's okay. And for a little extra added security, they also include a extra strap for the front wheel. So if you're going down some gnarly rough roads and you really, really want to make sure your bike's never coming off, fire that guy in the front too and ready for fat biking. Also, if it's the road bike that I don't have. Hang on, time to improvise. Ta-da! Also fits your road bike. But will it fit your unicycle? Uh, uh, mm, nope. Um, No. Good thing Kuwait also makes roof boxes. Problem solved. Another great feature that Kuwait has on their racks is their trail dock. A little repair stand built into the rack and it's super handy. Use it, flip it up, pull this lever here, raise this guy up, give it a turn where you like, let's say thereabouts, lock it down, Spin in the front there to open it up. And give this a couple turns, loosen up. Let's say I'm gonna go clamp on my seat post. So let's say somewhere around here. I need a bike that needs work. My lovely wife, Michelle, 
has been neglecting the drive trade on her fat bike. And uh, in trade for her helping me shoot this video today, I have to give her fat bike a little bit of a wash. We'll slide this on here, give it a couple turns to cinch down. And now I can clean her filthy drivetrain with ease on the trail. So yeah, this bike rack has been doing fantastic for me this year. I've had absolutely zero issues with it. Also, uh, like I said earlier, I've had the original NV years ago and ran that for eight, eight years or so with, again, no trouble whatsoever. Rack's still in great shape, held up fantastic. Should also note that if you ever do need any spare parts or anything, Kuat has them readily available on their website. So no trouble at all getting your rack patched up or if, again, if you wanted to add the extension, if you've got the two bike and want to go to four, you can pick those up online as well too. Same with the fat bike kits, all that good stuff. I'd like to uh, thank Kuat for the support. They've been uh, awesome helping us out here at Trail Flow. So I'd like to thank them for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today and we'll see you on the trail next time. Later. Hey, I forgot a couple things yesterday, and I'm just gonna go over them now why I'm inside cleaning Michelle's bike. Because um, I'm not going to fill, it's snowing. Yeah, it's all this inside. So, there are a couple features on the rack that I really like that I forgot to mention. Uh, one of which is that it comes with integrated cable locks as standard. That's awesome because you want to keep your bikes safe on there. Additionally, and related, the included hitch pin is also locking. Nice. That means your rack is safe. Perfect. On a uh, related part of the rack, the, um, they include a cam that you can tighten down um, where it goes into the receiver. It keeps everything from being sloppy, so rack stays nice and stable. Solid. Super solid. And uh, the overall fit and finish is great. Uh, I know from having their products in the past with the original Envy that I got in, I don't know, 2012, uh, the brand till, uh, till last year, that they hold up long term. I've had that old rack out year round, never came off the car until my new one went on, and it still looks great. So I'm super confident long term durability, and I know it's never going to let me down. And uh, yeah, they also include. Uh, a uh, bit of vinyl over top of the wheel trays to help keep that uh, looking good long term so your tires aren't resting directly on the paint so that's going to help that finish hold up. For those of us that uh, ride in cold climates and often have studs on our fat bikes that really really matters and <laughs> helps keep things looking really good long term. And yeah so again super impressed with the rack it's been doing awesome and I'm confident it's going to keep performing for me long term. So truth in advertising, anything I don't like, well, the only thing, and this, and this is like me stretching it, like the only thing I can possibly think of that I don't like about the rack is, for me, I'd like to see just a little bit longer wheel trays. So if you've got a really long enduro bike or downhill bike, or you're just super tall and ride a triple extra large, you might be looking for a slightly longer wheel tray so your bike sits on there a little bit nicer. And that's it, that's the only thing. And that's only gonna, you know, matter for your super tall people or if you're running a you know really extreme geometry super long front end bike otherwise that's never gonna be an issue for you and that's it that's the only thing i don't like um otherwise it's been fantastic they even offer the rack in two different colors so if you don't like the orange and you want to keep it all dark they have a uh, you know dark gray black version as well they offer the nv base if you don't want the uh the repair stand I mean, it's good to go it's awesome Thumbs up, two thumbs up. Well done, QAP. Keep up the great work, and thanks again for uh, hanging out with me today, guys. We'll uh, see you on the trail. Bye.